This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, welcome back. I have gotten some many, many requests for, hey, um, I waited last minute, I don't know what to crochet, I don't have a lot of time to crochet a gift for this Christmas, okay? Or like, you guys are meeting family before Christmas and you just don't know what to make and you're freaking out. You're probably clicking on this and it's the night before Christmas and you're like, what do I make? What do I make? Oh my gosh, what do I make? Well, lucky for you, I'm here. So today's video, we've got 50 fast gift crochet ideas. So crochet g projects that you can make in under an hour, under two hours, maybe two and a half at the most. So you can make whatever you're trying to make in time okay so for this video we have five categories we have miscellaneous bags accessories book lover and decor okay as always everything i say is linked in the description box below in the order that i said it linked to a paid or free written or video tutorials you can make whatever i'm showing you and before we get right into it go check out mine and dylan's podcast okay go subscribe comment on one of our episodes tell us what you think we're trying to get some feedback from you guys and really just make it like the best it can be so go give us some feedback say hi tell me you came from over here Okay, moving on. Let's jump into our first category. Let's do, I'd say let's do decor. Okay, so for our decor category, we've got these really cute, like aesthetically matching coasters, okay? The bear, the heart, the picnic pattern coaster. Those are really cute. You can even make these colorful stars and stuff them so they're like 3D stars and make a garland or make an ornament for someone, especially if you're doing it as like a Christmas gift. You can also make these really cute granny square mug cozies. Adorable, easy to take on and off so that you can wash the mug, obviously. You could make a fun, cute, flowery, leafy garland like this one. You can do the well-loved star garland, okay? I feel like I'm always recommending this because it's always a hit and I made this for my brother last year and he loved it. So it is sibling approved, definitely make that. You can also make a plant hanger for your plant loving friends and family. You can also make a dish towel for your mom, your grandma, your siblings, your friend who just moved into their apartment. That's always a cute gift, especially when you pick out like certain materials to make. Speaking of crocheting gifts, as we bring an end to the year, it's time to start thinking of your goals. Maybe you want to start an e-commerce business. Maybe you just want to get better at posting on social media. Whatever your goal is, lucky for you, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare has everything you need to go from passion to paycheck or even just seed your side hustle. So whether you want to build a subscriber base for your email newsletter or use AI tools to increase productivity, or even open your first Etsy shop, Skillshare has something for you. Skillshare classes are led by industry pros who have walked the walk and an active community of members ready to cheer you on. One of the learning paths that I'm really interested in taking is the social media expression create for Instagram and TikTok. Because although I figured out my YouTube channel, I've got that down, I need some help with my Instagram posts and my TikTok posts. And for the new year, I really want to thrive on those other platforms as well as this one. And I just feel like that is the path that's going to get me there. I know a lot of you are interested in opening an Etsy shop and now is the perfect time because if you're wanting to start an Etsy shop for the new year and just get a jump start on your crochet business, Skillshare actually has a course called Building an Etsy Shop That that sells strategies for e-commerce success by Parker Gard. Okay, this course will help you reach your success in opening your Etsy shop. So if you are one of my many subscribers who really want to open an Etsy shop crocheting, go check that out. So if you want to go from passion to paycheck, lucky for you, Skillshare is offering the first 500 people to use my link one month free on Skillshare. Did you hear me? I said the first 500 people to click the link in my description will get their first month of Skillshare free. Now that you have everything you need to open your shop, it's time to get to crocheting. So another crochet idea I have for you is this really cute jewelry organizer that you can hang on your walls so it's not taking up surfaces on your shelves or your bookshelves and things like that. You can also make these really cute unique citrus coasters or even this really cute crochet pot holder set. You got flowers and a picnic 
um, style. You could also make these bowl warmers to go under bowls for you when you pull them out of the microwave. You don't burn your hands. Super cute, super cozy gift, super fast to make. You can also make these fun cat coasters, cat butt coasters, and the swirly cat coasters for your friend who has a lot of cats or loves cats like me. Perfect gift for your cat lover friends. Perfect fast gift to crochet last minute. You can also make these really cute tulip wall hangings or even these bobble stitch hot pads. Now I have used this bobble stitch hot pad pattern before and I love it. I swear by it. It was one of the first projects I made so it is definitely beginner friendly and you'll learn a lot of new stitches with this one. So if you're a beginner and you kind of want to like dive deep and learn some new stitches, try that bobble stitch hot pad one. You can also make a cute little candle cover or jar cover or a fruit hammock if your friend is in the kitchen a lot. Uh, you can also make this computer like keyboard um, desk mat to go under a keyboard if your friend or family member works from home or spends a lot of time on their computer. That one's super fun. And that's all I have for decor, so let's move into the book lover category. So, we have a couple for our book lovers over here. Of course, I have to add this one because I'm a book lover, okay? So, you can make these really cute flower bookmarks or even this lacy bookmark or a granny square book sleeve or this Victorian memories bookmark and then this lace corner bookmark if you're not one of those people who likes a flat bookmark in the middle of your book the corner bookmark is also really cute and it's kind of unique i don't think your friends will have that so that's kind of cute that's all for our book lover category so let's jump into the accessory category all right so for accessories we have this granny square headband for our hippie earthy friends you can also make a balaclava or a like little pouch for your crochet hooks or lipsticks or pens or pencils that's cute you can even make a pouch for their glasses or their sunglasses you could make photo card covers like these cloud ones or this green just a basic one whatever color you want or this cloud one's really cute if your friend is a k-pop stan or you just want to gift them like a photo card of you two with a little decorated cover that'd be really cute you can also make these kind of fun scrunchies super cute or even this strawberry keychain or these stuffed mushroom earrings and then here are some more like photo card cover inspirations and then you could even make these little things that kind of wrap your cords for you or a beginner bandana or even like a hair ribbon that you can make into a bow bows are really popular right now you can also make this teddy bear scrunchie and you can even make Enid Snood if you have a friend or family member who is obsessed with Wednesday. I know it's kind of late, but that one's really cute. You can even make matching ones for you and them. Super cute, super fast workup. You can make a camera case pouch or even socks. I know people are like, you only knit socks, you don't crochet socks, but there you go. A single crochet pattern for socks. So if you want to make someone socks and you don't know how to knit, there you go. You could even make a fun camera strap if your person you're gifting loves photography. That one's cute. And you could even make some crochet rings or this really fun crochet watch bracelet. It's fun. It's funky for your friends who just like like funky stuff. That one's a good one. And that is all I have for accessories, so let's jump into the bag category. So we only have three for you. We have this market bag that's like a circular market bag, a circle bottom market bag, or you can make these little star bag pouches or even this easy net mesh market bag, tote bag. Okay, that is all I have for bag. But our next and last category is miscellaneous. So everything that didn't fit into the other categories I just did. You can make a dice bag for your D&D friend or family member. You can make a small tic-tac-toe if you're like, this is a night before Christmas and you don't have a lot of time. Make this small little tic-tac-toe board. Um, if you have a little more time than the night before, make this portable checker play checker board and like little playing pieces. I love this and you can roll it up. It's good for like taking to a park or on a road trip or camping. It's super fun. You can also make a scrubby, okay? Make a scrubby. There's a bunch of scrubby yarns. I know, uh, is it, what is it? Sugar and cream? Is it sugar and cream? 
I think that's the cotton yarn brand I use, but they have a scrubby specific yarn I like to use when I'm making scrubbies and it's perfect. You can also make a granny square sweater for a dog if you're making something for someone who has a dog. That one's a cute gift too. All very fast, all under three hours, three hour max. A lot of these are way less. So hopefully that was helpful to you and you were able to find something to make for whoever you're trying to make for last minute. Um, as always, everything I say is linked in the description box below. In the order that I said it, linked to a paid or free written or video tutorial so you can make whatever I'm showing you. Um, everything, the pictures that I showed you are all on a cohesive Pinterest board also linked down in the description box below. Check me out on TikTok and Instagram, okay? I'm trying to grow my platforms over there to kind of be, I want my community over here to be over there too. So go check those out. Follow me over there if you want. Check out Mind and Dylan's podcast. We're super excited about it. We're trying to hit a thousand subscribers before the end of the year as like a little goal for 2023 well, as it comes to an end. Thank you for subscribing if you're already subscribed. I love you. Mwah. Thank you for supporting me. Other than that, if there's anything you want me to do as a crochet idea video that I haven't done before, please comment it down below. I do all of your ideas. It might take a little while to get out, but I am getting them out. So if there's one you're waiting on, remind me in the comments and I'll add it to the list or put it to the top. Okay. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. I love you guys. Bye.